Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, fellow polite patriotic Canadians, thank you so much for being here. I just want to make the point that this is not a typical protest like the media brands it as a protest, where there's angry people, no borders, no walls, no Canada at all, no men, no women, hate the way you've been living. No, this is the great Canadian house party! This is an event safe to invite your family, your friends, and your neighbors to. To grow from 500 to 5,000 to 500,000 people. And people can do this all across Canada. You are people who take yourselves, each other, and where you live seriously. You respect each other, and you can talk about fun or serious stuff. You can bring your kids, you can have a great time, and we can do this all across Canada. So do feel free to tell your family, your friends, and your neighbors that you are welcome at the great... Canadian house party! Tell you what you should or should be telling me unless you telling me that ain't you telling me. Is it you telling me or not telling me? Skip the commie double speak snitch, please, at ease. Trouble in communist Canada. Poker rape and take mouth shut, slap a strangler. Trouble in commie Canada. Crack a boo, crack a big smile, slap a handler. Everybody can theorize, but once you actually get on the streets and start doing it, you get some real data to work with. And um, yeah, we just got to be really relaxed, really chilled out at the table, talk to people who want to talk to us. If you don't, no problem. It's your Saturday. What are we going to do? Well, we're out here on other Saturday, spreading truth, as usual. It's lots of fun. People are very receptive. It's good. We're moving a lot of product. For people trying to get the word out, uh, yeah, I mean, um, print up uh, flyers. Flyers is a good way to go. Uh, people are uh, not afraid to take uh, information in flyer form, at least. Get yourself a sheet of paper and educate yourself. That's all we're asking you to do. Reviewing the order that the last civil servant just, <laughs> just wrote. So there's no real. <laughs> awesome. See, that's going to be a clip. Cheers. Thank you, Ms. Angie. Nice to meet you. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. By the end of the day, all of Trinity Bellwoods Park here should be covered in these white circles. Each of these social distancing circles is eight feet wide and they're spaced out 10 feet apart. You can see the machine that does it. It uses computers and it does the paints the lines automatically as it goes along. These are in this park as a way to promote and encourage physical distancing. The rule is you can walk in. If you see a circle, you can step inside. If you don't see a circle, keep on walking. These type of social distancing circles are already in use in cities like San Francisco and New York. If they're effective here, you could see them in other parks across the city. At Trinity Bellwoods Park, I'm Carl Hansky, 680 News. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs>